Hi Alicia, it's Sandy. I thought I'd take a few minutes and give you a personal critique. So just wanted to let you know that um, I'm going to go ahead and go through your images here. We're going to start with the first image of the little boy and girl together on the white background. Uh, she definitely looks adorable and he looks wonderful coming up and over. The only thing I would question is maybe those fingers coming up over on the far side that are on the shadow side. Um, also, he's a little further back, a little closer to the light, and he seems to be getting a little more light than his sister, but it looks like she's act he's actually much more fair-skinned than she is, so it's just a matter of she's got a little darker complexion as well. But super cute image, high key looks good, dead on. Uh, the next image is my favorite. The two of them together honestly look like porcelain little dolls. They're so beautiful. The recommendations I have here are where his uh, shoulder is actually cropping. You can see there's a little bit of a crop. Um, I would move him a little more to the right to eliminate that triangle, just so his arm doesn't look so amputated there. I think you could soften that up a little bit. But probably the most important rule that's being broken are the little girl's hands. Her fingers are aimed at the camera. We never aim digits towards the camera, always turn away. This is a nicer part to see on the hand as opposed to when you aim fingers into the camera, you sort of foreshorten them. They look smaller and, and heavier. So I would just say turn her arm out into the couch, and that is a gorgeous portrait. That is going to be a huge wall portrait. I love that. The next image there on the floor. This is a great shot, a lot of fun. Um, this one I would actually remove the hand. I would have had him put the hand down that's coming over her shoulder because now it definitely is sort of a mystery hand. So you got to watch for those mystery hands. They should always be connected to a body. Um, he's still looking very fair, but again, you can definitely see there are two different skin tones here. Uh, love him uh, up on his knees, super cute. The only thing I would say is her dress could use a little bit of straightening, but I know with kids it's almost impossible. Also the background, I can see that you've folded it over and um, companies like Silver Lake sell those awesome floorboards where you can make it actually look like a baseboard. Uh, that might make that look not quite so much like a background and more like a wall, which I would clean that up a little bit. The last image, uh, little boy on the blue block. He looks super cute. I'm kind of not a fan of shoes, but if mom wanted them on, I'd leave them on. Otherwise, this would have been a barefoot image in my studio. The more, biggest concern here is the little girl is actually, uh, her legs are missing. Now, if you're going to show the boy's legs, I kind of feel strongly that the little girl should have a body too. She almost looks like she's cropped off or chopped off at her waist. So swinging her legs out the other way and including them images in the image, I think would make this a little stronger. The last image with him leaning over her, absolutely adorable. Nothing to say about this except wonderful job. Your lights are pl placements are right. The catch lights are in the right place. You've got highlight to shadow transition on the face so you can see uh, texture and detail. So beautiful shot and definitely a winner. And now I will go to the other images and let's look at those. This one, the first image of the little boy alone. Now this is one that is lit uh, wrong. There, I guess there's technically no wrong, but this is called, what's called broad lit. So his face is being lit. Um, the broader side of his face is actually getting the light, therefore throwing his smaller side, the narrow side of his face, into shadow, and we're missing a catch light here. So this is a beautiful image, but it's lit backwards. Now if you go forward to her to the sister's image, you can see she's perfectly lit. She's actually lit on the narrow side of her face, and so therefore her shadow has a transition um, from highlight to shadow, which makes it really really a much stronger image you can see texture in her face and it looks much much better now the next image is our little boy up on the trunk this is a fabulous image as well the only thing is the lights just a little far behind him so he has a catch light in the first eye it's a little dull in the second eye could maybe move that light forward a little bit great placement great layout i love the lean i love the the texture of everything i think the trunk is beautiful so this is just a definite winner and then finally, our little sister leaning in, her individual portrait. Great image, beautiful smile, great expression. Love the background and the chair uh, really complements it well. The only thing I would say is her arm is turned too far in. You're seeing the strongest part of her elbow um, and the heavier part of her arm. If we just slid that arm down and drop that wrist, it would make a much more feminine curve here. So just a little detail, and honestly, with children, you don't always get the perfect poses, but um, these are absolutely beautiful kids. So I just wanted to come on and tell you personally, I think you did a great job. These are very sellable, a really strong collection of images, and I hope you will post a whole lot more. Thanks for sharing.